Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to Factorio, our noob to mega base Clendathu playthrough. Or I a noob in my first ever playthrough of Factorio, I'm trying to create a mega base. And where we left off last time, we started getting some infrastructure in place to kind of start like a little micro mall for at least belts and sorters. Um, we got green circuit delivery. We got iron plate delivery. We got uh, delivery of our lubricant, but we need to get gears and we need red circuits. So we're going to create a new section here for gears. And I'm going to use my normal. Uh, this is a request station. So let's do this because we're going to request in the uh, iron. I think we're going to bring the iron in on the top. And let's just go ahead and go boom. And then we're going to get our iron, our gears out on the bottom. Kind of drop that route right there. Now you'll notice it doesn't give us a whole lot of space here, so we're going to kind of do some finagling and uh, getting how we're going to lay this out. So let's let these guys kind of drop, do their thing. We'll get some of this stuff dropped down, then we'll get all of our uh, our stuff set here. Because I think I need to reset the actual name here on this guy. I don't remember if I set it or not. Once it decides to put it down. Come on. You can do it. As I slowly run out of patience. Okay. Okay, cool. I did not. So we don't have to deal with it just yet. So we can let all this stuff get dropped down. So this will allow us to get our iron coming in. And then uh, we'll be able to get this kind of figured out. So I'm going to... So I think I'm going to change up how I have this built... Um, just because when I did the green circuit, it kind of, <laughs> it was a bit overkill, to be honest. Um, so yeah. So I think I'm going to kind of redesign this blueprint just a little bit. Um, I still want to use beacons, uh, which I do have a few on me. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to start out with... Our, our grid, our fun guy here with the grid. So this is our main thing that we're going to be building around. And so what I might do is maybe have these guys kind of coming down here like so. so I got those there. And then we can have, uh, oh, I'm out, really? Okay, I need to not let them build those belts so I can get this kind of templated out. So if we have this being an output chain, so if I do an output and then I do an output, just say output and output, right? Then we can have this guy. Oops, no, come on. Ah, my mouse. So there was a way to kind of like lock it in. That way it's in a straight line. Okay, so I think that these should all be under power. And then what we would do here is we'd have our input line here. And an input line here. And then, yeah, this doesn't... This won't let me beacon as heavily. 
because what I'm going to do... Well, unless I did something like... Uh, let's see. Does this take up the same space? So if, I, so if I remove one... Hmm. So if I did something like that... Instead... I wonder if that'll give me... I don't know if that's going to give me enough coverage, dang it. Well, actually, you know what I could do? Is we could take the beacon and actually offset it so it will give us some coverage. Like so. Because what I want to do is have... us our output, right? So if we did this, uh, okay, so that's our output chain, and this is our input. So then, if I do. if I get these pointing in the right direction. Okay, so if I did that, in theory, and if I did this like a gear, right? Like that. And that should, I think, be tileable. Uh, let's let's try. So if I take that and go, boom. Oh, it's not. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, so let's see. What if I remove this one? Will that work for a tile? Basically, I just want to be able to slap that down right. No, that's not going to work either. Fun. Okay. But this is why we do these in like little segments so we can kind of see how this is going to work out. Because. So this doesn't really give us a whole lot. Let's see, this would be here, let's let's do this. Let me give me a power pole or two. So let's just go up to the top side. Okay, so that should give it power so I can see kinda what's gonna do here. Number of effect receivers, two, one, two. This one is only two. This one's four. Okay, so technically this is getting one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five of them, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work for what we want. So the question is, do we use more underground belts to make this more tileable? So let's, let's pick this up. Let's try again. Let's try a little different layout here. It's like the fun with trying to plan. Okay, so let's get, let's get again, let's get us another one of these guys down here. So this is our central plan now what if we took instead and went like this uh 
Um, and then that would be outputs. And let's um let's clear the signals. Let's get uh I'm gonna have to go pick up some signals. Where's my beacon? Let's grab that. So that if I did two, one, two. Then each one of these gets four. Okay. And then for the input chain, Be something like that. Okay, so let's see. So that would allow each one of these to be impacted by four. And if I look at our other layout, this is impacted by, see that's giving six. This doesn't tell me, I wish this side told me how many is impacting it. So it's getting three. It's only getting three total. So this technically would be more efficient from that perspective. So let's see, is this a uh, copy pasteable? If I did that. Uh, or if I did that. Okay, so if I take, oops. Let's do this. Let's remove that. That like that. And then let's see how this works. If I took this, I might rotate it so that way we can go this way and use the length. So let's just see if I did a ghost, ghost. That looks like that would let it work. That that's tileable. And then I can have well. Hmm. Actually I might have the inputs just have the dual line of inputs just have it pull here. That gives me more throughput. And then have the outputs go on the outside. Because that should ensure that I have plenty of material for these guys. What's the uh, what's the speed on these? It's uh takes two iron plates for half a second. So yeah, actually having two belts feed in that might actually work quite well, actually. So let's uh okay let's uh let's kill that because we don't have that there, and then. I'm going to, I'm going to create a new blueprint of this. And what this does is it also sets it up to where I can use dual inputs. So I could use this as the, if this is the input chain, I can have reds and blues. So that actually works pretty good. Um, that gives me up to four ingredients that I can ship on this line. Uh, let's try uh, beacon. Uh, manufacturing mark two. 
create. So I'm gonna stick this right here. So that's uh actually you know what? Let's uh let's read this. Let's do mark to manufacture. There we go. Save. There we go. Now I can see it a little better. Alright, so yeah, so if that's gonna be our guy, let's let's go get this guy here. He can help us deconstruct. And then we're going to deconstruct this. And then our process to get the materials in and out is going to change just a little bit from here. But we're going to still going to ship it to the same spot. But we can kind of finagle this a little differently. So the question is, is which side do we want to come in on? Do we want the products, the materials to come in on the right or the left? I'm thinking... I think in the right. Let's do the right. So, and I think what I want to do with these is we're going to, let's break these down a little bit. I want these to kind of come out this way. Um, and I probably want them to come down and up so that way these guys can come over. A little more easily. Maybe. Either that or I should I have it both come in from the side and then have the output go down the center. That actually might not be a bad idea. Let's see if we have this as our our input. We have the outputs coming here. So I want to tie the two lines together. So if I did one, two, three. So yeah, we can probably get three across. And then like if you saw, I was sharing the output lines here. So that'll make it a little easier. I can offset this just a little bit more. Let's pick that up. Let's, let's offset this just a little bit more. And we're going to pick this back, back up, and then we're going to say about right there. Okay, so there's one, two, three. I won't get four, so let's come over here. I'll leave enough room for getting stuff out. So one, two, let's see, uh, hmm. yeah, sorry about that. Uh, this side I could actually get, I'd actually be able to get four on this side. Oh no, there's a cliff in the way. So let's just leave it at three. So we'll do three and three, and then we'll do... Uh, oh, that doesn't tile that way. Okay. Shoot. Um, I just screwed this up again. Okay. That's not going to give me what I want. All right. Let's uh, try this again. All right, so still want to bring this out here to have it come down, but I didn't didn't do this right for uh, the overlap on the output. So let's uh, let's try this again. So because we don't get this tiled the way I was thinking it was. So I do have to combine the lines. So let's see, I can combine it about right there, I think. One, two, three. Let's 
two, three. So if I bring this stuff over there, that gives me enough room to get it out of the way. One, two, three. All right. Six. All right. So then we're gonna kind of do the same, want the same footprint on this side. So it looks like one off, and let's see this line. About right there. Uh, why is that not picking those up? Okay, there we go. Now we can try this. All right, one off. I think that's about right. Two. Three, three. Four, and six. So this looks like it would give us better coverage for what I'm trying to do. Now, I may not, I don't think I have enough uh, belts and stuff, um, which is uh, upsetting because I thought I had picked up all of the belts I picked up, but I think I might have just picked up undergrounds. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I just realized I am such a moron. Um, I'm gonna have to restamp these, but uh, we can fix it in the blueprint and then I can restamp it. So let's um take this blueprint, let's rotate it again. I forgot to put the inserters on. Yeah, because, you know, I'm, like, super smart like that. Yeah. So let's do... Uh, we're going to go boom, boom. Let's get... Oh, no, nope, it's not there. Let's do there and there. And there. Okay. That should fix that. I also need to get the lights in there. I don't have any lights on me, do I? I don't. I don't. Okay. Um, well, let's, uh, let's take this and let's do this guy. And now I can do that. So now it has now with more belts okay that should be easier so now i can just come in here and hopefully just go boom 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 and then we'll get our inserters on these guys It's like simple oversight, easily fixed. All right, that side's fixed. Over here, get this side fixed. And then we'll go, then after I get this fixed, we'll go pick up some belts and uh, try to get this thing all wired up and start to start producing. Um, we still have to create the beacons, or not the beacons, but the, uh, all the doodads that go in the beacons and all that fun stuff. I don't have those being manufactured yet, but that's part of why we're trying to get this stuff going so we can get, um, all the various parts that we need done. So that's, uh, yeah, so let's see, two, four, six, two, four, six. So that's going to line up just nicely. Um... So yes, let's remove that little doohickey there. We're going to take this center channel 
to kind of come down here. So we'll take these three into there, those three into there. And that should take care of it. So I'm going to go get some more supplies and then we will return. Be back after this. All right, we are back and hopefully I have enough material to get let this thing get built here so we can run let this kind of do its thing. And uh, while we get this going, I got to figure out I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start letting this let me do that. I'm going to come over here with myself. Let Spidertron just sit there while it's kind of being doing its thing. And I need to start getting this laid out for our output. So I could just do this and then See that? Hmm. Nah. Let's uh, bring it out to that. That should give us a full belt, which will turn into two belts to get down here and fill up, you know, two of these containers. So basically, I'm going to do this for each side. So we're going to have this kind of deal. So we're going to come up here. Uh, this one. Actually, this is going to come in here and go boom like so. Like that. There we go. All right, then this one's going to come down. Let's go straight there. All right, there we go. Ah, shoot. Hold on. I just hooked up the wrong line. <laughs> That's our input line. Wait, hold on. Inputs, output. Okay. Which means that's output. This is input. That's where I screwed up. Okay, so this is the output that needs to go here. That's the output that goes there. And then this output, I can kind of do this so I have enough room for the other stuff. And then we're going to bring it down and then just do that. All right, there we go. That works for that. And these guys here, we're going to bring back a bit. So that way I can combine these guys to go that way. Uh, oh, and I don't have the recipe set, so let's do that. Let's go grab that. Go. Boom. We'll go. Let's copy as many of these into the recipes as we can. Oh, you know what? I should I wasn't thinking. I should have picked up some lights while I was over there getting resources. Alright, let's just get as much of these as we can. Okay, so that side should be all set. Um, did I run out of... Did I run out of undergrounds already? Oh my. Okay, well, I can probably free up some of them because I don't need these ones on the end. Uh, yeah, that one, that one. That one, and 
that one. Yep, so we're running out of underground ones, so we'll have to let that do its thing here. Let's just get these recipes copied, and then I'm going to go set up the other side. Get all these belts hooked up, and then we can get some, some of our new mall do its thing produce this stuff because it'll produce it a lot faster I think than the, uh, the old setup I had over there just because it has dedicated processing so okay let's see what else can we get done here so definitely need more underground belts uh, let's get this side hooked up should have enough so Uh, yeah, let's just follow the same plan here. And then skip those two on this one. This one. Down to there. No, one more. Let's, let's just do it this way. Let's go backwards. Alright, we're definitely getting more attacks on us from these dang biters, so... We're gonna have to get those guys taken care of here soon. They leave us alone. That's what that's what we're trying to get all this set up for. Okay, so that takes care of all of this. Um, now we need to get more input maps. Let's get our input maps. Uh, let's bring all of these this way. And I'm gonna do copy. Alright, that makes this a lot easier. Copy paste. Let's bring you over here, let's let you do your thing. And then we can bring our lines down. So we can come down here and go one. And two. And then I can just delete these ones that I don't need. Save us on resources. And there we go. Alright, so then we can bring down the next two. And then we'll bring down the next two. Try to make this as easy as we can. And let's just connect them up. This should. I mean, technically, once we do this, we just go get our undergrounds. We can uh, then actually get at least one side producing our gears. So that's one side done. Yay. <laughs> so we just gotta do the same for this side, and I'm definitely going to. Uh, Take advantage of getting this of the robots here. Let's uh get this all set. And then we're gonna use our nice Honda Dondi paste function. Come down here and clear road. Ah oh, shoot. Uh, paste 
the road the other direction, please. We need it going this way. Oh no, it won't let me do a... Uh... Gosh dang it, that's, that's kind of lame. I don't like that. Like, I can do it this way. But, man... Ah, oh, joy. Alright. Just tell it which way to go. Uh, it won't let me tell it anymore because I'm out of resources again. All right, well you have enough on you, so let's get you. Let's get some out of you, so that way I can fix this. Come on. Okay, I had to wait till I found one that was going the wrong direction to let me do it. Okay, so there. Now everything hopefully will be flowing. Um, I do have a cliff in the way, so we'll have to do this one maybe a little differently, but... Let's just see what we got to deal with here. Just make it with this cliff. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That was that was uh, fortuitous. I was not expecting to be able to make that curve. Okay, uh, let's fix this. Boom. Okay, well with that, we should, once we get all these wired into power, get everybody happy. So we have a grid there. Let's go ahead and put one here. So we get them both into power. I do need to go get some underground belts so we can get this final wired up. But in the meantime, I think we can go ahead and uh, get this turned on and get this wired up. So let's go ahead and tell this guy be iron plate so we can start getting iron in and we have a max of five sure do, 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 do. all right this is saying limit of five of five good set train limit come in here this is iron plate drop off where are you there you are enter all right that should start getting us some iron plate in here while we go get some materials and we'll be right back okay and we are back uh, let's see what we got here. So we have some, some stoppages here just because we don't have the underground belts in all the places. Let's make sure we get throughput at least on one side all the way down. Make sure we have them all. And then we'll get beacons once we get beacons and get, okay, yeah, we got to get all the underground belts over here. Yep, that we can get our, our train cars loaded. And okay, let's get all these guys, because I, I was short on them, so... It's like our construction of these is not going the fastest, so we are already out, because I didn't have enough being made. So we'll have to... that's why part of why I want to get this train going. Um, the only problem is it won't go because it's not going to load, but... Um, let's get all of these traffic lights make sure they're all set 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's that. There's that. Uh, you. Okay, so that should let us do what we need to do. So let's come in here and let's set this train up because we don't have one of these yet. So we're going to set this up to be gear and pick up and our dash and two. So we know it's a two car train. Enter. And we have, this is not wired up. Of course it's not. So let's come in here and let's grab a Gears, this is all wired in. Input signal six, uh, and da, 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 da. this is doing this, divided by that. And what's the stack size? 100. So this is, oh, uh, we don't care about that, it looks like. Uh, so it's just this divided by that. Is that to that to that. So what's my, why is this not, oh, because I don't have 19,000 yet, that's why. That's the only downside I don't like about some of these is it, it doesn't trigger until I get like the minimum. That's okay, so let's come in here, let's just say set train limit, which is set to, good. Currently set to zero zero because we don't have resources. That's fine. It is constructing. Um, but what's interesting is is that even with this setup, it is still only getting half. Roughly half of this is being used. This, this is way smaller than the other one too. Okay, well, yeah, we definitely need to work on getting this. I think the stack inserters will help with that um, once we get those being produced. So what I could do is, let's see, I got, just so I can help with some of my construction a little bit here. Uh, just move some of this stuff out of the way. I come in here, I'm just going to take a whole bunch of gears and yeah, we're gonna come up north here I'm gonna kind of hand feed it into a little bit so that way we can get some of these things being made because I need more I need more all right so we have this here uh, so this side needs gear uh, not that side this side needs gears so let's put it in one of these containers we'll just go loop and oh shoot okay well I just found a problem yay okay um let's do this let's get that so I have some here let's fix this so I need to do I think I think that's what I need to do so that way it gets it from that side so let's uh, let's break this let's do so now it's showing up on both sides okay well like I said not the most ideal of uh, projects here But whatever. I have not learned all the balancing tricks yet, but all well, that should work for now. I mean, this, the, the main thing is that this is not, it's because it's loading on that side. That side. Okay. Got it. I need to, yeah, I need to fix this. I need to change this up. I don't even like this. Let's do. Let's do this. Let's um. Let's change this into. Well, I can't do that either because I need to do. 
this one. So I gotta have it go to that side. And then this one. So what if I did... That, and then... Loop like so. Because then I should get a full belt. So if I take... This... And then... Do this... And then do this. Uh, no, 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 no. And then I can just hook this back into there. So that should be better. So then for the green circuits, I need to do the same thing. So let's just do that. Paste. Paste. Okay, and then this is... Oh no, this is not... Ah, uh, I can't do the flip. Mm. Okay, so this one works. I gotta ma manually do this side. Okay. I gotta change this up. I can't just do a flip. Darn it. Okay. So since this is... So I still have to keep that... Like so. that and then I can just do like that and then like that okay that's better so let me copy this one for this side and then let's delete this side again and then we're going to do a paste and then connect that up. Okay, so that, so that should do that. So now this is getting us gears up here. I mean, obviously this production chain is going to take a bit for it to get going because we need, we need these guys, and we only have two, a whopping two. But it's going to start producing as we get more and more. So let's come down here and let's see if we can't get. A few more and then we'll and I can go check the other side so let's just do so that's uh, yeah okay well <laughs> that's not gonna help us uh, do I have any yellows on me I can just use yellows for the moment um, no I don't okay well that's gonna start letting that train at least get full How come this one's getting iron all the way down to the end, but these ones aren't? What's the difference? Uh, oh. Somehow. Uh, uh I missed one. So, it didn't have its stuff. Um, should right click and go boom, boom, boom. Okay, well, I missed some things. <laughs> Got it. All taken care of now. So now these guys are doing their thing. These guys are starting to fill up 1,000. Let's just take a bunch. Let's go. Get 
these get address drops some more in here until I can get the trains configured. And uh, then we can set up, we can actually go set up the trains too. So we have, yeah, this guy, so. There we go. So that should help with some throughput a little bit. Because this is trying to make a bunch of belts. Um, I really don't need any more spare belts, so technically I could just do that. And then that'll let the red belts be produced. And we can see the red belts are... Uh... Heck, oh wait, that's the... That's for blue belts. <laughs> okay, red belts are going in. This guy needs red belts and gears. Uh, oops. That blueprint is backwards. Alright, so that gets us our red belts. Gears. And lubricant should be hooked up. Why is the lubricant not hooked up? Uh, so the lubricant is... There. Well, no, it's not. Why is it not hooked up? Okay, let me get this guy out of the way. He's in, he's just in the way. Let's remove that. Uh, did I go to the wrong place? I think I went to the wrong spot. Let's do that. And then let's do Ooh. that. There we go. Look at that. I might actually get a blue belt. I got a blue belt. <laughs> I got a blue belt. Oh, wow. You even have some blue underground. Nice. Okay. Red underground. That's what I need. Got four. A whopping four. All right, Mr. Spider, let's go see if we can get some more from our base and then we'll be right back. Okay, well, while we are waiting for some stuff to be built, I think we need to go ahead and get our trains in order. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, and I'm setting up five trains total. Yeah, we're just getting oh, let's get all these here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now let's go set this up. One, let's give it some fuel. Two, let's change the color. This is gonna be gear, so I want it to be kind of gray. But not steel gray, maybe like a hmm, maybe more of like a blue gray. That looks good. Okay. Add station. So this is going to be... Oh, we don't have... Oh, no, I did. Okay, gear pickup. Add full cargo. And gear drop off. And empty cargo. And there. And inactivity, five seconds. Yep. Control. All right, there we go. Now let's give you guys some fuel. One for you. One for you. One for you. And one for you. <laughs> okay, so this should. Well, oh, I actually ran out of iron. Wow. Okay, yeah, definitely need to work on getting those things taken care of. Okay, let's come in here. Let's go automatic so we can turn him on. Turn these guys on.
Okay. So he's going to start filling up. He's going to be a while before he's full because, well, I don't think I have enough on this right side. Actually fill him up. But it can produce enough, so... Yeah, it's 1.4. This is 4,000, so... It's only got 1,000 so far, but... Well, actually, that's not bad. But, uh, it looks like I'm running into power issues again. Yep, I sure am. Um, oh wow, I need 1.4 gigawatt. <laughs> um... Yeah, I might need to add some more nuclear power stations here. Uh, I didn't realize I was getting that bad in power consumption. Well, not much I could do about it right this second. I'm going to have to set up a nu another nuclear outpost, I think. Let me come over here and check out our nuclear fuel, see how that's doing, because uh, if I need another outpost for nuclear power, then... Well, I need, I need fuel. I need nuclear fuel. Uh, wow, one of these is actually already empty. Two of them. My goodness, okay. Oh, hey, look at that. We actually have a full green belt. Um, look at that, we got green. Oh, wow, ooh. We have green shiny rocks starting to produce. We have a full, well, semi-full train. Just because I was setting it up to be full and empty. Uh, so yeah, we have we have fuel. So I'm gonna find a location to stamp down some more nuclear power plants. It looks like, um, and then we'll get this all flowing. Hopefully, Let's see. Do you have any more? Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, lights. <laughs> I was like, no, I need those. Wow, only three underground belts so far. Um, the yellows are stopped up. The reds, everything needs gears, so... Hopefully we will get a green... Uh, a gear train here to come in soon. Let's see if we can't get some more throughput here. How we doing that? Oh, hey, oh, ooh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. okay. Well, during the day, how are we doing power wise? We are kind of satisfied. <laughs> uh, I do mean kind of satisfied. Okay, so we're not quite there. This is garbage. Uh, this is 181, alright, uh, and, yeah. Okay, definitely need more power. Got it. You got it, bud. We're going to get some more power. So, yeah, so we should see this, uh, this guy here should be loading up. Look at that, it's loading up. We got just about a full line. So these things are all being produced. Uh, we already got one here. Uh, see what's it? What's it lacking? Oh, it just needs a ton of those. I might need to upgrade some of these to blue, just to kind of help with the throughput. But you can see here. Oh, look, we already got some filter inserters. Got some steam inserters. Um, we can't get any of the the big ones that I want because I need red circuits. So. Uh, I think I'm going to go find a place to add some nuclear power and get another nuclear power station added and then we'll I guess set up a red circuit network uh, to produce some red circuits it will not be as big as the green one because uh, I I learned learn from that mistake so hopefully we can get this uh, red circuit one worked out based on a similar layout that we just did for our gears so here's hoping, and uh, we'll come back next time. So if you stuck all the way through, I do appreciate it. Uh, it's uh, it does help with you know knowing that you know somebody's watching. <laughs>
Uh, if you like this format, you know, comment down below, or if you want to see maybe a different format where I do some super cuts or anything, you know, also comment, let me know. But uh, until next time, this is Techno Paladin with some Factorio, and thanks for watching. Good night.